Our topic is temporomandibular joint. Joint between temporal and mandibular bone, it's a synovial joint of condylar variety. Articular surfaces. The joint have the upper and lower articular surfaces. Upper is formed by articular tubercle and anterior part of mandibular fossa, inferior is formed by head of mandible. Fibrocatilage covers the articular surfaces. The joint cavity is divided into upper and lower parts by intraarticular disc. What are ligaments of TMJ? Fibrous capsule, lateral ligament, which are major ligaments, and accessory ligaments sphenomandibular and stylomandibular. Going to fibrous capsule, is attached above to squamotympanic fissure, articular tubercle, and circumference of mandibular fossa and below to neck of mandible. Capsule is loose above intraarticular disc and tight below it. Lateral ligament. It reinforces and strengthens lateral part of capsular ligament, fibers directed downwards and backwards. Attachments. Above to articular tubercle. Below to posterior part of neck of mandible. Sphenomandibular ligament. Lies on a deep plane away from capsule. Attachments. Superior spine of sphenoid. Inferior lingular of mandibular foramen. It's a remnant of mechal cartilage. Relations of ligaments. Laterally LMA. That is maxillary artery, auriculotemporal nerve and lateral pterygoid muscle. Medially MPC. That is myeloid nerve and vessels, wall of pharynx. Enchorded tympani nerve. Last ligament is stylomandibular ligament. Represents the thickened part of deep cervical fascia. It separates parotid and submandibular gland. Attachments. Above laterally part of styloid process. Below angle and adjacent part of posterior border of rumus of mandible. Articular disc. Articular disc is an oval fibrous plate. It divides joint into upper menisco temporal and lower menisco mandibular compartment, upper permits gliding movements and lower rotary as well as gliding movements. Disc has a concavo convex superior surface and a concave inferior surface. Disc represents degenerated primitive insertion of lateral pterygoid. What are composition of disc? Five components. An anterior extension. Anterior thick band. Intermediate zone. Posterior thick band. And last one, bilaminar region. Blood supply. Branches from superficial temporal and maxillary arteries, veins follow arteries. Nerve supply. Auriculotemporal and masetric nerve. Movements of TMJ. Movements are pulped by putting fingers at preauricular joint or into external auditory meters. Movements at joint are divided into two, in meniscotemporal and meniscomandibular compartments. Basic movements are protraction, retraction, depression, elevation, and lateral movements. With muscles of mastication we can study TMJ movement. The muscles are lateral pterygoid, temporalis, medial pterygoid, masseter. According to direction of muscles movements occurs. Temporalis causes elevation and retraction. Lateral pterygoid causes depression and protrusion. Medial pterygoid causes elevation and protrusion. Masseter causes elevation. Thus, depression is caused by lateral pterygoid. Elevation by masseter, temporalis, medial pterygoid. Retraction by lateral pterygoid and medial pterygoid. Retraction by temporalis. Lateral movements by pterygoid muscles. We wind up this section by discussing applied anatomy of TMJ. First an important one dislocation of TMJ. Then derangement of disc which may occur due to any injury and that leads to clicking and pain of TMJ. In operations of TMJ the facial nerve and auriculotemporal nerve should be preserved. Dislocation of mandible occur during excessive mouth opening, at that time the head of mandible slips anteriorly to infratemporal fossa. As a result there will be inability to close mouth. Reduction is done by depressing jaw with thumb placed on molar teeth and at same time elevating chin.